What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here, back at it again, and uh, this time I have a review on the Hot Toys Boba Fett, which is the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back. Of course, this is Boba Fett in the vintage color, which is a homage to the Kenner figure that released in the early 80s, and this was kind of like a Hot Toys exclusive, uh, so I had to jump on it because I think it looks fantastic. I love the vintage color of Boba Fett, and I think this is going to look really good uh, displaying it in the D top shelf with the 40th anniversary of the uh, Boba Fett action figure in the Kenner colors that came out from uh, Hasbro from the uh, Black Series. So I think it's going to look really amazing, but here is the front, really cool looking. Uh, again, this is my first time with the ha uh, Hot Toys, so um, I you know, didn't realize how big they are. Uh, but it looks really uh, amazing and of course I know that they're uh, really known for all the uh, incredible details of these figures and so here's the front of the box and as you can see um, I didn't really t you know it comes in a bag and then I just took it out of the bag so you guys can see it closer uh, and then of course on the side here you do have a couple of pictures there of Boba Fett you can see the rocket pack uh, there he is messing around with his uh, flamethrower and then on the other side you do have a uh, another picture right there of Boba Fett standing up which looks really amazing uh, I don't know if there's anything really on the back side I think it's just pretty much just all the logos and everybody that contributed to uh, making this figure uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide it out this is a uh, pretty big but uh, I just kind of want to show you what it looks like uh, when you do get this uh, figure and so there it is, it comes in a tray. You can see pretty much the uh, the EE3 uh, rifle blaster. He does have his pistol blaster. Uh, he does have all his tools for his rocket pack. I believe the rocket pack is probably behind him. You have the interchangeable hands, which is really cool. Uh, and like I said, these things are really meant, for, uh, they're, they're, they got crazy amount of details. Uh, so really, really cool uh, to own one of these. And then at the bottom here, uh, you do have kind of like their instruction manual. And I believe this pretty much tells you where to put all the accessories at and I think it has a really cool poster in the back but as you can see there you go it tells you how to holster the pistol it tells you how to move the rangefinder and then uh, also how to put all the uh, actual tools and knives into uh, the cargo pocket of his pants uh, and then there it is how to uh, put the uh, rocket pack and then of course there's Boba Fett and then on the back you get a really cool poster right there of the Empire Strikes Back really nice really cool poster there so really cool that you get all of this and like I said I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this guy out of here out of the clamshell I think it's gonna work better if I just stand him up and then you know show you all the very details of the uh, figure and then of course the accessories and then the base too I, I, I should have a base I think most I think all actually of these hot toys actually come with the base so you can display it but uh, I can't wait I'm really super excited to see all the little nitty-gritty details of this figure so uh, let me just go ahead and take him out and I'll be right back all right guys so there it is in all its glory mr fett boba fett man in the vintage colors and it looks amazing right now what you're looking at is of course uh him fully complete with everything on uh and you know it just there's just so much detail so what i'm gonna do is just show you guys uh you know him just what the accessories off and so that way I could go and show you the details of each of the accessories so let me just go ahead and uh, let me show you the interchangeable hands first and then um, and then we'll go into the individual accessories it's not a lot but you know he does have a few uh, so obviously he does have a you know a set of interchangeable hands so you do get a set of these uh, fists here uh, you do get um, he has one relaxed hand on him right now here's the other and then of course you do get more of like you get two of these for like holding the barrel of his ee3 of uh, you know blaster rifle blaster and then of course he does have one trigger hand only for the right hand so that's uh it's kind of a bummer but that's all you get so 
you get one trigger hand for the right so but you do have two hands for uh, holding the barrel so pretty interesting uh, now for that EE3 uh, rifle blaster here it is man and this thing looks gorgeous man there it is you got some ports right there at the barrel you got the scope uh, triggers done really nice you can see the hammer and then the buttstock has got a lot of details let me show you around on the other side then there's some weathering going on and then of course you got this cool uh, strap here and I believe this is like uh, it, it feels almost like you know leather but um, I don't know if it is or not it's probably just some kind of fabric uh, but really cool man there's lots of details onto this rifle not only that but then he also has his uh, his blaster here and again lots of details man look at that even at the uh, at the barrel here this is really cool and then of course it split right there at the trigger well really cool it's just man it's amazing there's just so much details um, really cool so there's this uh, blaster pistol and then of course uh, I took these off you know these were these go in easily but they go into the bottom of his uh, cargo pocket there at, on his pants and so underneath the knee pads so you have this uh, knife here so really cool you do have uh, a couple of tools uh, for his uh, jetpack I think he had a couple of tools uh, to adjust his jetpack so here's one of them uh, I believe this is another tool here uh, for his jetpack here so really nice and then of course, I think this is another blade. I know, I think he, 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 Boba Fett usually has a sonic blade. So I don't know if this one or the first one was a sonic blade. Uh, I want to say this is another blade, but it could be a tool. Uh, it doesn't really tell you on the instructions. And then of course, uh, going back to those interchangeable hands, you do get two little joints. So just in case, you know, one breaks or whatnot, you do have some spares. Uh, so that's really nice that they uh, did that. And then of course, you've got the base and the base is really nice. And of course, every hot toy has their own base. So you always get like a little plaque. So you see the Star Wars logo there, Boba Fett. Uh, I believe this is the flooring of the uh, Death Star. And then of course, you do have uh, support here. Uh, so that way, you know, you can display him without worrying about him tipping over. Now for the figure itself, man, lots of details. So I'm gonna start from the bottom, moving all the way up to his uh, helmet. And so, um, you know, overall, like the weight is not too bad. Like for, for you would think this guy, you know, would be really super heavy, but he's not, he, he's actually not that heavy. Uh, so going back here uh, to the bottom, so he, there's the boots. And of course he's got some nice serrations at the bottom. Boots are done really nice. And of course those are the pockets. Uh, so you could go ahead and insert uh, like here you would just insert the knife and then you would just insert all the rest of the tools there So really cool and then of course the knee pads here, you know You got some battle damage going on and now in the lore of you know Star Wars I think these actually were functional. They actually shot out some kind of projectile. Uh, obviously, they're just there aesthetically, but uh, You do have that nice little detail and then on the back here. You can see the straps. So uh, really cool and so moving up of course you got these cargo pockets they're uh they're nicely uh stitched the sewing is done really nice uh the hands are pleated really well and of course you know these don't open up and of course this top pouch doesn't open up you got some battle damage there on his uh, grind plate or whatever you want to call it uh he does have a couple leather pouches here really cool uh there's one that has a buckle and then this one has a buckle in the middle but not all of them has buckles i don't know if they did that intentionally uh of course you get another nice little pouch here kind of like a little uh, statue which is really nice and then moving up here you can already see the uh, the Wookiee braids and these are done really nice I mean let me show you the back here because these are you can really tell look at the details on that Wookiee braid that is really beautiful uh, so of course you do have uh, you know his flamethrower here let me just move his arms here and of course look at that man there's just so much detail that's going on uh, really nicely done here of course you have his um, I believe these shot projectiles too so you can see it the line coming up all the way to uh, his helmet or his uh, chest plate so really cool and then of course on the chest plate here you do got a couple of uh, battle damages here of course I think that's his name either in 
alien language or something like that i'm not really sure but i know this is his uh, clan uh, of course there's the f for fed and i think that's uh, wheat and of course the uh, drop of blood there and i believe that was part of his clan now of course you do have the mandalorian uh, insignia there um and then of course on the other one you don't have anything on it you just have that battle damage which is really nice and of course you see all the wookie br uh braids so really cool now i left his uh, jetpack because you have these okay so this thing is magnetic right so it, there's a little magnet to keep it in place to his back but you have these tiny little straps man and it is a pain in the butt if you ever think about getting a hot toy i would definitely recommend uh investing in uh, a set of tweezers just because man there is just you know if like for me and my fat hands like i can't i can't put that on so i had to use the the assistance of a of a tweezer uh so to to get a strap but as you can see there's the little straps and then there's a little magnet the magnet is not that strong but it mostly just keeps it nice and, and seated in place and then there's of course the jetpack with the missile there uh you got some weathering going on so uh you know they kept it kind of plain you know just just keeping it you know to the kenner color they i i'm, I'm pretty sure they didn't want to go out too crazy in details with the paint app and i totally understand that and of course you do have these nozzles they do move of course for the uh, jetpack these little uh, thrusters and then of course you have his cape now the cape is done look at that man that is so cool and then of course there's a wire onto this side of the cape so you could kind of manipulate it however you want so that is really cool and then of course the helmet man look at that that is really nice and again you know it's not it's very basic but it, it's keeping you know very close to the kenner colors uh you know just like i was released in the early uh 80s and of course you have his uh you know rangefinder here which just drops down right there boom so that looks really cool oh man so uh obviously articulation is extremely well with this figure there's no problems uh, you could you know he's got joints all over the place so really cool man this is a really really cool figure um and and of course oh, i forgot to show you man damn uh of course he's got his uh his holster there for that pistol let me see where's that pistol yeah so let me just show you now i'm not even gonna do this on camera putting that little strap on because that is a pain in the butt but of course you know you could holster his uh his uh blaster pistol there if I could get it I'm trying to do this one-handed so excuse me but there it is bam and then of course you know you do have a little tiny buckle there's that tiny little buckle that goes in that tiny little hole uh, so um, I'm not even gonna uh, try to attempt that on camera because I know it's gonna take a long time uh, so there is the back end right there again man this is really cool and like I said they're not going crazy with the paint app you know what I'm saying I mean he does have the battle the battle damages and stuff like that and scruffs and some weathering and everything but uh, you know they're, they're really trying to keep it as close to the uh, the Kenner colors and i think that's that's great that's what i wanted and this like i said i i i had to jump on this because i think it's gonna look really really great uh displayed right next to that 40th anniversary black series uh boba fett in the kenner colors and then maybe just put like you know my my kenner uh boba fett's right next to it you know that been graded by afa so this is gonna look really amazing but uh i just want to share this man this is my first hot toy um I, I i'm not sure if i'm gonna go ahead and and go for the um the Mandalorian with the child I know that's that's the next one that's coming up I know the Mandalorian came out on his own uh, but there is like a deluxe version that's coming out with all the accessories and the child so I don't know uh, if I can find some more room yes I'll probably do it but that's it man I just wanted to share that with you guys man I I, I know there's tons of videos out there uh, but I just wanted to share uh, my thoughts of it it's really gorgeous uh, definitely invest into a, a set of tweezers if you're gonna ever think about buying a hot toys and uh, trust me man you probably you, you would not be disappointed but that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching thank you for the support and I will talk to you guys in the next video